What's going on guys? It's Adam from Beyond the Grid. Welcome back to my channel for another tutorial. Wait, this isn't a tutorial. This is a product review because I was just sent something from a company that's claiming that their product's going to save you a ton of time when editing your photos. So let's see if it does what it's supposed to do. And we haven't done a giveaway for a while, so let's give one of those away too. But if you close your eyes... So this is what I'm talking about. It's named Tourbox. Now the name doesn't really give an indication of what this is, but it's a portable module that's designed to work in Lightroom, Photoshop, Final Cut Pro and Premiere, and make things easier and more intuitive. Now I understand this thing looks more like a video game controller than anything, but it's supposed to work alongside your mouse or tablet and almost become its own hockey module. Now for the aesthetics of this thing, I think it looks beautiful. It has a matte black finish, offset raised keys for a better tactile feel, so you know what button you're about to click, and the keys actually click, and it sounds similar to something of my MacBook. On the front, you'll see a USB-A and a USB-C port. These connect with the included wire, and the wire doesn't look cheap as it's braided and it is stiff. As for the setup and use of this, I haven't actually begun to use it yet because I wanted to do it as part of this review. That way we can experience the ease or the struggle of it together and we can decide if it's something that's worthwhile purchasing or it's just another gimmicky tool that's put on the market. So let's plug it in and let's see what this thing can do and let's put it to the test. So when you first plug in your tour box, you're not going to be able to use it because you're going to need to go to the tour box website, go over to the download page and actually install the driver as well as the tour box console, depending on either you're using Mac or Windows. So of course, I've already installed this to save a bunch of time. So let's go ahead and jump into the console. So this is what the tour box console looks like. On the upper left here is going to be your preset list. This is where you can go ahead and adjust each of your presets depending on which program you're going to be using. On the bottom here is going to be a list of all the buttons and naming them. On the left, or sorry, the right here, you're going to see what each button is going to do and you can actually change it by clicking on it and you can select by the list below. Now to save a bunch of time, I've actually created a preset for Lightroom. So let's go ahead and name it. Let's click create. Then we're going to go over to the very left over here and with the three little dots, you're going to click on that and you're going to go import. We're going to go over to my download page. We're going to click on that guy. We're going to click open, click yes. Give it a second and then you're going to see what each one's going to do. If you guys want to pick this one up, I'm going to have it down below so you guys can get these if you guys want to use the same uh, settings I have for my console. Okay, so now that we've got it installed, we've got the preset set up for Lightroom. Let's jump into Lightroom and see how this thing actually performs and how easy it is to use. Okay, so now that I've set up most of my controls in the console, let's begin using them. So I know that you have to hover over to actually adjust anything. So let's begin with the quick adjustments. So if you hover over and you move the scrolling wheel, you're actually gonna begin moving it by increments of 20. Now, if you want a little bit finer, you're gonna go over to the knob, you're gonna scroll that and you're gonna get increments of five. And if you come down to the wheel and you roll that, you're gonna get increments of one. So now that we figured out how to do adjustments, let's look at the D-pad. So when you look back into what we actually set up in the Toolbox console, you're gonna see a bunch of these guys and it's gonna be a little bit confusing on how to get to them and just remember everything. Well, if you click this button and hold it, you're actually gonna bring up this little module here and it'll tell you what you're gonna be adjusting. So I, if I click the up, I'm going to bring it over to the basic panel, the very right, the details, which is going to be right here, the bottom, the split tone, and the left, which is going to be my HSL, which is kind of quick and easy. Now, if you click on the side button, it's going to bring up some other ones. So again, my up is my lens correction, my right is my calibration, my bottom is my effects, and my left is my transformation. Releasing that gets rid of that. So that's pretty easy so far. Okay. So now let's go up to the top and let's let's just jump in and edit this thing. So now that we're in here, let's start adjusting things. So I'm gonna start with my basic panel. So again, if I click my D-pad up, it'll bring me right to there or close it. So let's open it up. I'm gonna adjust my exposure. So let's start adjusting this. Let's bring it up to let's say plus 30. I'm gonna come down to my highlights. I actually wanna drop this quite a bit. So let's go down, not that far. Let's go about 65. My shadows, I'm gonna bring those right up so I can use the big wheel, bring that right up. I accidentally clicked it. My whites, let's bring those down. Let's say 40, so two turns of the wheel, of the scrolling. My blacks, let's bring that up, let's say plus 40. 
And then my textures, we're gonna bring those, let's bring those up a little bit, let's say plus 20. Actually, that's way too much, let's go plus five. My clarity, let's bring that up, let's say plus five. My dehaze, just a little bit. My vibrancy, we're gonna bring that up, let's say 20, so one scroll here and a little turn of that one, boom. This one, let's go minus 10, so two of those. So far, so good. So now instead of rolling all the way down to get my HSLs, let's just click over. It'll bring me right over to my HSLs. So let's adjust these guys. Let's go plus 10 here. Uh, this guy, let's go minus 60. So three turns there, plus 10 there. My oranges, minus five, looks pretty good. Um, let's go this guy, minus 10. Luminancy, let's bring that up a little bit. Let's say plus 10, plus five. Minus 40, and plus five looks pretty good. Then my greens go up a little bit, down a little bit here, so minus 40. And let's go minus 40 here, actually let's go minus 35. My aquas, let's go a little bit here, let's go a little bit there. Let's leave that one for now. Let's go to my blues. Let's bring down this guy a little bit. Pretty good. My vibrancy, I'm going to leave where it is. Then we're going to come down to my purples and my magentas. Let's go minus five, minus 10. Let's leave that one. Actually, let's bring up the luminancy just a little bit because I am having a little bit of purple in my shirt. Magentas, minus five, plus 10. Uh, let's actually bring that down to minus 10. And let's bring that one up a little bit. So, so far that's pretty easy to use. So let's go over to my sharpening, which if you go over here, you go click on your detail, boom, which is your, your right D-pad. Let's bring up my sharpening just a little bit. Actually, let's leave it at 40. Let's bring up the mask just a little bit. So again, if you hold on to control, you can actually see where you're adjusting. So that's pretty good there. Let's go over to my camera calibration. So let's click on the side panel. Let's go over to camera calibration. Let's bring this guy up by plus 15. Let's bring this guy way up. Uh, not that much, plus 50. Let's bring this guy up to plus 55. And let's go minus 20 and plus 30 there. So that looks pretty good so far and it's not too, too much. Now, if you guys wanna see a before and after, it's pretty easy, double click this button here It'll actually show you before and you're after. Now let's say you wanted to redo something or undo something. You can actually click these buttons here. So this one here will do undo and this one here will do redo. So let's say you're adjusting something and you're getting rid of something. Well, it's pretty easy. So you can come over here. Let's go into here. So let's bring this size down a little bit and let's get rid of this guy right there and this guy right there and I accidentally click there, but I actually wanna get rid of that. So let's click on this one and boom, easy peasy. So let's go back over to our basic panel, which is gonna be up. And let's start adjusting our tone curves actually. So for this one, I don't think there's actually an adjustment for this. So I think you're gonna to have to do this one more by hand, which I would wanna do anyways. So let's leave a point right about here as your anchor. Let's raise up this one just a little bit. Let's bring right about there down a little bit. And let's bring you way over here, just up a little bit. Now let's go over to my reds. And this one's gonna be a little bit weird. So we're gonna bring this guy down right about there. We'll bring you way down there. You up a little bit. And let's bring you up right about there. Let's raise this one up a little bit, let's say there. And then this guy, let's actually adjust you over there. Looks pretty good. Now let's go to my greens. Let's kind of mimic what we did on the other one. So let's say right about there. Let's bring you up a little bit. Let's bring you down a little bit. And you down a little bit right there. That looks pretty good. Let's actually raise you up a little bit. Let's say right about there. 
Let's come over to my blues. Same sort of thing, so let's bring you down a little bit. Actually, let's go right about there. This time we're gonna bring it over here. Let's bring you down here. You down there. Right about there. Let's go back over to my reds real quick. Let's adjust a couple of these, fine tune them. Right about there looks pretty good. Now, Lucy's looking a little bit red there, so let's go into here. Let's actually drop you down there. So let's look at it before. Again, if you double click, double click the tall button, you're gonna see your before and your after. Looks pretty good so far. Let's come back over to our brush really quickly. So to adjust your brush size, now let's say we want to adjust some of our brush sizes. Well, let's use this top key over here. It's going to bring up some of your other stuff, which is your adjustment brush, your radiant filter, your M gradient filter, and your Q spot removal. Well, let's click on the top one. It's going to bring up your brushes. So if you click on that, click on the top one, it's going to bring up your brushes. Now to adjust the side, all so the size, all you do is click on the tall one and rotate this wheel or the knob, sorry, and you're actually going to adjust your sizes. So we can quickly paint over some areas. So let's paint over these rocks right here. Because we actually want to get rid of those. And let's go like that. Click O on your keyboard. You're going to see that you're before and after. And let's get rid of that. Now we can come over here. We can actually start adjusting our exposure. So let's drop that guy just a little bit. Let's say plus 59 looks pretty good. Let's click enter to exit out of that one. And let's add another one. Let's actually brighten up my shirt a little bit. So again, O, see what you're painting over. Boom, and let's actually get rid of some of this stuff. So let's bring onto this guy, adjust the smallness of this. Click on option. You can still bring down your smallness. Boom, a little bit too small. Get rid of that there. Good. Go so you can see what you're actually doing again. Bring this guy up a little bit and let's get rid of the shadows on that and actually brighten that up and boom let's look at it before again double click and an after so as you guys can see it's kind of useful especially with that d-pad cheat manual it's going to save you guys a ton of time bouncing back and forth into the console trying to remember where you guys set everything to now, if you guys want to use the same settings as me, I'm going to leave a link down below where you guys can pick up the preset and you guys can install it into your tour box. Now, if you guys want to enter into the giveaway, I'm going to leave a link down below where you guys can enter in for that. If you guys just want to go ahead and pick up one of these for yourself, I'll also link over to tour box so you guys can just pop over and see what they've got to offer. Well, that's really it for me. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial or this review, make sure you guys are hitting that like button. If you guys are not a subscriber, I mean, why aren't you? Hit that subscribe button. And until next time, Take care, everybody.